Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous week and you're all doing okay. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Jodie and today we literally have one of my most exciting videos. I mean, I say exciting. I just really wanted to share this with you. I really wanted to treat myself to a designer bag, my first designer bag for my 21st birthday. And I was 21 on Thursday. So I did that's all i'm gonna say now disclaimer this is not me showing off this is not me gloating this is not me encouraging every 21 year old to go out there and spend a lot of money on a bag i am in a financially stable position where i i can afford to buy myself something like something and i i haven't like ever like i've never spent a ridiculous amount of money on anything other than like my car which was when i was 17 and um, I, I never ever buy designer items and it's just something i really wanted to do for my 21st birthday like i just wanted to buy myself something really memorable really special something i know i would keep for years and years and like pass down and whatever i knew that i would get so much use out of so i did go into Louis Vuitton and buy a bag which I am totally and utterly obsessed with but yeah I just wanted to put the disclaimer out there that I'm not encouraging I know that not every 20 21 year old can afford that I know that anyone can't afford you know not everyone can afford um designer items they are ridiculously expensive but I mean I try and justify it to myself like I'm a fashion student I'm very into it you know like and I love the bag and I, I do I am a strong believer in you should be able to do whatever you want with your money and um, whatever you choose to do within limit so it's my money I work very hard I am really proud of myself and I wanted to say thank you to myself for getting through life so backstory of why I chose Louis Vuitton if you're watching this you either watch my channel anyway or maybe you're thinking of buying a designer bag and I thought this video would just be super helpful to all those people who maybe are wanting to buy bags i always watch these videos i think they're really cool so i'm going to unbox the bag but i'm also going to sort of tell you the story behind why i chose louis vuitton and also why i chose this particular bag so louis vuitton i have always been told and i've obviously researched that there's three main designer brands which you can buy into as almost like an investment which essentially means that their products their bags are only going to ever increase in value so that's Hermes obviously Chanel obviously and Louis Vuitton so those are the three and Louis Vuitton was obviously my you know we're, we're sort of going here like Louis Vuitton Chanel Hermes Birkin bags so I went Louis Vuitton I do also think Louis Vuitton is very me it's obviously like chanel and hermes are unreal but they are a lot more money but that what that means is like the investment term is essentially i could buy this bag for x amount and i could wear it and use it and love it and then in five or ten years i could sell it and i would either probably get my money back or possibly even more so that's just what comes with buying into timeless bags and like into timeless brands i know not everyone is bothered about that and maybe if i was to buy a second designer bag in like a few years or something i may not consider like the investment but that is basically the sort of return you get from buying a bag from a reputable designer you know like louis vuitton's got such a heritage such an iconic brand you know like you see the print you know straight away it's louis vuitton so um that's where that comes from that's why so that's why i personally chose louis vuitton but yeah like i said not everyone's bothered about that like you go and get that bright pink prada bag like trust me i wish i also had that bright pink prada bag <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to get something that was more timeless that i knew that i would never ever fall out of love with that i knew i could wear with literally any eighth i'm ever gonna wear and i think to be honest girls i've got the bag <laughs> i really do so in terms of why i chose this bag i definitely will show you in a moment i'm so sorry but i want to give you like a really cool unboxing so in terms of why i chose this bag i saw it on a photo and i literally gasped like i remember scrolling through my phone and i was like like honest also ignore my tan i don't know why it looks like that it's so embarrassing oh my god i'm just gonna keep my hands down here um 
I saw the bag and I was like literally gasped out late and I was like oh my god like I am obsessed with that bag and I was like I've never seen it before I was like that's so weird because you know like you see a lot of bags on Instagram you know like I'll see them on in magazines like wherever I'm looking you always see you know like the classic bags and I was like I've never seen that bag before I was like that's so weird and I was like hmm I was like does that mean that it's maybe like old and they no longer stock it or is it new and it's always out of stock and no one get their hands on it and i was just like really confused and i was like what the hell like i've never seen that bag before but like i kept thinking about it and then it was creeping up to my birthday and i was thinking oh like oh what bag am i gonna get so there i am scrolling through louis vuitton picking my favorite bags out being like okay i love that one but maybe is that a little bit more impractical i love this one is it maybe a bit too expensive you know like i was really trying to suss the situation out. i had like three or four bags which i really loved and then i just like scrolled down one more page and i saw this bag i'm acting like this is like the story of me getting pregnant no just me buying a louis vuitton bag <laughs> and i was like oh my god like i can't believe i have that bag i was like I haven't seen it at all I was like that's so weird so I click on it and I was looking at the photos and I was just like my heart was saying like JJ like that's the bag like deep down you know you want that bag more than the other ones so I was like mm, okay looking and it was in stock it had like the little green circle available at my local Louis Vuitton in Birmingham and I was like what the hell I was like this is meant to be like it's gotta be like I just was expecting it to be out of stock everywhere so I was like okay like that's so weird it's in stock at my local Birmingham Louis Vuitton and I, I love it still so I go to sleep wake up on my birthday and I I should I like can't even lie I dreamt about the bag because like the night before my birthday you know I had a little bit of like you know is everyone gonna think oh my god Jodie what a waste of money and I was like a little bit like oh I really want it like deep down I want it but is everyone gonna be like Jodie like what the hell are you doing and I dreamt about the bag and I was like and my dad was also in that dream so I thought well if my dad is in that dream with the bag I have to get the bag so I it literally woke up in the morning and I was like right I'm having it so I get to Louis Vuitton have to join a virtual queue and I was like right okay <laughs> on to the bag I'm sorry that was a little bit of a ramble I'm sure you guys have all just skipped but if you did listen then thank you I'm so glad now you may understand why I brought it so here we are so you obviously get the huge Louis Vuitton bag and they actually, they actually give me like a little free um, gift as well. She did write in this like um, happy 21st birthday Jodie, I think she was called Kate, she was a really nice lady. The service in that is incredible, like they have their gloves on, they try everything on with the gloves, they put it on for you, like they style it on you, it is incredible, like you do feel like okay like I know why I'm paying the money. She also gave me this little tester. I think it's perfume oh yeah it's a little perfume which i thought was cute like a little free sample i can't actually open the lid oh my god guys i don't know but they give me a little sample which was so cute with a little birthday note and then they also gave me um like this season's magazine which i thought was so cute because i was actually flicking through it while i was in um, the shop while I was waiting I just love looking through stuff like this and I thought how cool you know like I can put this on a coffee table and I just thought I'm going to keep it all together and it'll be you know like a nice memory of when I actually brought the bag so I thought that was so cute and then I have had to retie this guys because I'm not gonna lie I haven't been able to not look at it like I, I would love to say that this was a first impressions video but it's definitely not so excuse my horrible wrapping but you obviously just pull this i did try and copy what she did so you obviously get the, all the iconic packaging which i just love it is very timeless and cool i love cobalt blue at the moment so you've got this lovely ribbon which goes all around your box i'm just dead like the feeling of walking out of the shop with this bag i just felt like those cool people you see in self you know you're like oh my god i wonder what they've got i was like that's me <laughs> so onto the box so we open the box up and then we get the lovely dust bag guys are you ready okay so the first thing that i'm going to show you is one thing i won't i will say i feel like i ordered this off ebay when she put this in the dust bag i was like 
<laughs> what is that plastic bag? So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the strap and the pouch which comes with it. So, we have this like tiny little pouch really, but it is like big enough maybe to put like a card in or like your keys or a lip gloss. And then we also have this gorgeous, like very, it's literally the most neutrally nudie colour you could ever have. And it's just got Louis Vuitton writ all over it in like bold capitals. But it's in like a white, so it's very faint, which I love. And then we've obviously got leather trim here with some gold clasps. And they say Louis Vuitton on. Literally got the worst camera focus in the world. Can you see that? It says Louis Vuitton. And we've also got another little leather here. But this is the strap up close. How cute is that, guys? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very subtle, but, like, really classic, which I just love. So, what you do is you put the pouch through like this. Okay, are you guys ready to see the bag? <laughs> Honestly, guys, like... When I say I've dreamt about this day since I was about 12 years old, like, I really have, like, seeing people around me buy Louis Vuittons, like, seeing, like, so many people, like, on YouTube, whatever, like, buy Louis Vuittons and things like that, I've just always, like, craved the day when I have my own. Can we actually cope? So, obviously, it looks like a wash bag like this, but as soon as you put the clip on, you can obviously see that it's a bag. Okay, I've put the strap on. Can you guys actually cope? How gorgeous does it all look? I've been wearing this like around sort of there. Um, but I actually can't cope. Like look at her. I mean. Look at her. Actually me and me were like. Oh my god what are we going to call her? I was like it's got to be just like Louis. Like Louis with a, like a French like Louis. I don't know, is that cringy? But I am honestly obsessed. Okay, there we go. Can you actually cope with that? Like, it is of. Okay, so going into the bag, we have got obviously the classic um, monogram all over. It's a really like rich chocolatey brain with like lighter brown on, I don't know. And then we've got like gold detailing all across. We've got gold hardware and the zips also say Louis Vuitton on. We've got a zip here and a zip here. And then also this little mini zip. So I don't... I've left the paper in it. So like these are still very puffed up. And then we've got a leather trim here. So the Louis Vuitton is also on top of the leather trim and the lady did say that the only thing that will probably ever sort of like tarnish over time will be the leather um she was like it does happen but you know i think if it did happen then i don't know i don't know what i would do but and then if we unzip the bag inside we have got a really lovely brown lining we've got a little pocket here with this side as well but just how cute like i love that this is also monogram like i think if this was like the leather here it wouldn't look as good um so the reason why i love this bag i think is because it's very classic with like the monogram and it's obviously like the, it's very neutral but i just love that it's like a little bit street wear like it's a lot i think it's a bit cooler like I think it's a cooler bag for Louis Vuitton. Like, it's very multi pochette vibes. Like, I just love that when you've got the strap on, it's very streetwear with, like, the pouch. But then if I was to take the pouch off... Oh, my God, that wire's that been here the whole time. I'm so sorry if that's annoyed you. Um, when you take this off, um, you can just, like, hold it, and it looks a little bit dressier. So that's the reason why I just was sold, because I think i can wear it like day to day like even just like throw over tracksuit like this but then also just like on the shoulder for like a meal you can like hold this and like have the strap dangling there's just so many ways to wear it and 
I just love it and obviously you can play around with the pouch, you can have the pouch on, you can not have the pouch on, you can have it on the other side, you could have it really low, you could have it really high, there's just so much to do, like I think the pouch would look very cool, like maybe like here, like with this, I don't know, obviously you can make this, um, the strap a lot shorter and have it on the shoulder or you could probably make it a lot longer because you've got all of this bit here to make it longer with but I'm just absolutely obsessed like I love the strap the strap for me just made it be like such a neutral colour they also have this bag in black so this is the utility crossbody bag I'm obsessed and um, obviously you guys can google the price but if you were looking at purchasing this bag it was £2,200 um, I'm from the UK obviously Birmingham um, that's how much it was so if you were looking for a bag around about that price this is it I just love it I think it's very street weary like I think Louis Vuitton are starting to sort of like nail the street wear bags like I just think it's lovely and I just know I will love it forever because it's just very me like it's a very me bag I also love the Alma but I just think like it's not me like I think it's lovely for like those dressed up outfits but I'm like very rarely dressed up so I think this is like a lot more suited to my style and sort of my wardrobe so that's the reason why I chose this bag and I'm just obsessed with it so that is the unboxing of my first ever Louis Vuitton bag my first ever designer bag I hope you guys really enjoyed it let me know if you're thinking about purchasing this bag and maybe have any questions about it or about the experience in Louis Vuitton at all it's definitely a new experience for me like my mom was like oh my god like i can't believe we're actually in louis vuitton like we're normally in b&m so to be in louis vuitton was a monumental moment for both of us and it just felt incredible so very proud of myself absolutely in love with the bag and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel we have just hit a thousand subscribers and there is a giveaway coming i will announce it in thursday's video and um, you can win a gift card you can win something for one of our favorite places that's all i'm gonna say for now can't wait to announce that <laughs> So I hope you guys all have a lovely rest of your weekend week whenever you're watching this. DM me any questions or leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Hope you all have a lovely week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.